students from the Martial Arts Academy would improve very quickly after being tortured by a first-stage Martial Saint Grotto Heaven Realm vicious beast every day. Moreover, this vicious beast had recently advanced to the second-grade Grotto Heaven Realm. Later on, the other Martial Arts Academies heard some news. Soon, some smart people sent their outstanding students to the Martial Arts Academy of the Wilderness to learn. There were also some who simply formed teams and came to the wilderness border to train. They were dragged out to fight with vicious beasts. Whether they lived or died depended on their fate. Cow's actions greatly increased the combat ability of the Northern Kingdom's martial arts academies. Wang Xian also quickly advanced to the martial saint realm. Moreover, he could take out the tripartite formation that Cao had brought over and study it together with the various martial arts academies. It could even be used in the military. Three people could form this array formation. For example, three eighth-grade martial artists could fight a first-grade martial saint at the Grotto Heaven Realm. It was very difficult to win, but they would not be defeated quickly. If three ninth-grade martial artists used the tripartite formation to deal with a first-grade Grotto Heaven Realm martial saint, their chances of winning would be very high. One should not underestimate this point. Although it was easy for martial artists to cultivate after the blood moon, there were still very few martial saints. However, there were relatively many 8th and 9th grade martial artists. If they all learned the tripartite formation, these people would be able to fight a martial saint. It would increase the foundation of the entire northern kingdom. It would be easy for three first-stage Grotto Heaven Realm martial saints to kill a second-stage Grotto Heaven Realm martial saint with this formation. While the Northern Kingdom was thriving, something had happened to the Yufu Kingdom. Although the Yufu Mountain had sent people to guard the catacomb that appeared, they did not know what was going on. They still let many demons run out and cause trouble and kill people everywhere in the Yufu Kingdom. For a time, everyone was in danger, and some commoners secretly ran to the Northern Kingdom. Especially when some people saw that the originally desolate wilderness had been developing better and better over the years. It was so prosperous that it made people envious. Many citizens of the Yufu Kingdom secretly ran over. In the past, it was always the citizens of the Northern Kingdom who fled to the Yufu Kingdom. This was the first time a large number of citizens ran to the Northern Kingdom. Zhaoyang was naturally happy to see this happen. She pretended not to know and let these commoners enter the wilderness or the Wings clan to live. When Wang Shun delivered the food to Li Yuanqing, he also chuckled and sighed. These commoners aren't stupid. They would naturally move to a place where they could survive. Moreover, I heard that the Yufu Mountain has suffered heavy casualties and can't control the demons in the catacombs. Also, I heard that the catacombs had also appeared in the Myriad City Kingdom. At this point, Wang Shun secretly glanced at Li Yuanqing's expression. He knew that many years ago, the former crown prince was crippled and sent to the wilderness because he refused to marry the princess of the Myriad City Kingdom. If the Yufu Kingdom was slightly stronger than the Northern Kingdom, then Myriad City Kingdom was much stronger than the Northern Kingdom. It could be said that the Yufu Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom had once been vassals of the Myriad City Kingdom. However, in the past hundred years, the Myriad City Kingdom's influence was not as great. They were busy expanding their influence elsewhere, so they turned a blind eye to the Northern Kingdom. Most importantly, the Northern Kingdom was sufficiently respectful to Myriad City because they did not have enough foundation. A catacomb appeared in the Myriad City Kingdom? Li Yuanqing was not surprised. The Myriad City Kingdom was too big. There must be more than one catacomb. Yes, there seemed to be two. However, I heard that their goddess personally appeared and sealed these two catacombs. She didn't let a single demon escape. She's very strong. Wang Shun couldn't help but praise her. She sealed the two catacombs by herself and did not let a single demon escape. This was not just powerful. It was especially powerful, all right? The goddess is the eldest princess of the Myriad City Kingdom. Now, her eldest brother has succeeded the throne. Wang Shun whispered. Li Yuanqing immediately understood. He naturally knew about this princess of the Myriad City Kingdom. She was a jinx back then. No matter who it was, as long as they were engaged to this princess or had intentions to be engaged, there was only one outcome. They would die. Many people have died over the years. Li Yuanqing vaguely remembered that the second prince had fallen off his horse and died. 
It was quite sad that an intermediate martial artist had actually fallen off his horse and died. Didn't he also disobey the decree and avoid it back then? She's indeed very strong. However, they're not as lucky as our northern kingdom. There are no catacombs here. Li Yuanqing drank his tea and smiled. He remembered what his father had told him on his last breath back then. He had said that the princess of the Myriad City Kingdom had a secret and wanted him to be extremely careful. Haha, ha, he was afraid of death. He naturally wanted to stay as far away from such a person as possible. Fortunately, the Northern Kingdom and the Myriad City Kingdom were very far apart. There was also the Yufu Kingdom in the middle. There were some things that he did not have to think too far ahead. Therefore, Li Yuanqing continued to sign in and cultivate in the wilderness. He also went to the Wings Clan's catacomb. This was because he was counting the days. The catacomb should be loosening up again. He could go take a look and see what good things he could sign in. When Li Yuanqing went this time, he saw Qin Feng again. His cultivation progress was also very fast. He had already reached the peak of the first stage Grotto Heaven Realm. It seemed like he was about to break through. However, it was not easy for a first grade martial saint to enter the second grade. Therefore, Qin Feng had been cultivating bitterly. Your Highness, you're here. Qin Feng saw Li Yuanqing after so long, so his voice was filled with joy. He naturally knew that the catacomb had long appeared in the Northern Kingdom. It happened earlier than the Yufu Kingdom and the Myriad City Kingdom. However, everyone thought that the Northern Kingdom was lucky and no catacombs had ever appeared. Only a few of them knew that the catacomb had appeared, but Li Yuanqing had sealed it with his own strength. His strength was astonishing. It was unimaginable. All right, you can leave. Let me guard here for the next few days. After Li Yuanqing gestured for Qin Feng to leave, he unsealed the two array formations and waited for a demon to appear from the catacomb. He was waiting to sign in at the entrance of the catacombs too. This time, he waited for a long time before a not-so-strong aura finally appeared. At this moment, a voice sounded in Li Yuanqing's mind. Host, do you want to sign in at the entrance of the catacombs? Sign in. Congratulations on signing in successfully. Reward, Demon Slayer Sword. 1. 100 Demon Slayer Swords. 2. 1 Demon Stone. It was the Demon Slayer Sword again. He already had a hundred of them, but what was this Demon Stone? Li Yuanqing thought for a moment and decided to take the Demon Stone. When he got the Demon Stone, he realized that it was not a stone. It was clearly something else. Before he could study the Demon Stone thoroughly, the demon floated out of the catacomb. He did not have a martial artist to possess, so he could only take Li Yuanqing's life. However, this demon had always signed a contract with the Wings Clan on its own accord in the past. It was unlike this time where it did not even have a body. How could he be a match for Li Yuanqing, a fifth grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert? He had just rushed over when he was slapped to death by Li Yuanqing. The demon subduing palm was the nemesis of this demon. Killing him was simply too easy. Li Yuanqing clapped his hands and looked at the entrance of the hole with extreme ease, hoping that another demon would come out. Unfortunately, he did not see any after waiting for a long time. However, Li Yuanqing was not worried. He sealed the hole and came back the next day. He opened the hole and continued to wait. This time, Li Yuanqing waited for an entire day but no demons rushed out. He could only seal the catacomb in disappointment at night. He did not get anything good today. On the third day, Li Yuanqing unlocked the seal on the entrance of the catacomb again. This time, he was lucky. Soon, a voice sounded in Li Yuanqing's mind. Host, do you want to sign in at the entrance of the catacombs? Here it comes. Li Yuanqing finally figured it out. If a demon appeared from the entrance of the catacombs, he would be able to sign in again. If no demon came out, he would not be able to sign in even if he guarded the entrance of this catacomb. Sign in. Soon, Li Yuanqing signed in again. This time, he took another hundred demon slayer swords. He had two hundred demon slaying swords on his hands now. The effect of using it to nurture and set up a sword formation could not be better. As expected, when Li Yuanqing obtained the demon slayer sword, he saw another demon rushing out of the catacomb. This time, it was a fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm demon. 
This was the first time Li Yuanqing had encountered a demon with such a high realm after his advancement. It was an excellent opportunity for him to practice. As expected, a fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert was not so easy to deal with. Li Yuanqing used the demon's subduing palm to hit him, but it was useless as he dodged it. Even if he threw the Saint Extermination Stone over, he could only control this demon for a second. As expected, the stronger the opponent, the weaker the control of the Saint Extermination Stone. His Saint Extermination Stone could at most stall a fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert for a second. Li Yuanqing only had one second to kill this fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm demon. Therefore, in the next moment, when Li Yuanqing threw out the Saint Extermination Stone, he struck out with his palm, and the clear sky sword stabbed out. One second, just one second, Li Yuanqing used his palm, sword, and the Saint Extermination Stone. In order to prevent this demon from being too powerful, Li Yuanqing planned to use the sand escape technique to retreat a few steps before sealing the hole. Of course, Li Yuanqing could not let go of the demon that had appeared from the catacombs. Otherwise, a fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm demon was enough to destroy the Northern Kingdom. Therefore, for the sake of caution, Li Yuanqing even set up the Heavenly Cycle Demon Extinguishing Array at the periphery. This was to trap the thing that emerged from the catacombs. After all, there were too many unknown things in the catacomb for him. There were more risks than benefits. It was better to be cautious. This demon had just rushed out of the catacomb. Although it had the strength of a fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert, it could not withstand Li Yuanqing's moves. The Saint Extermination Stone controlled its movements, then the demon's subduing palm and the clear sky sword hit him. Therefore, a second later, the demon's soul had already dissipated. He was extremely aggrieved when he died. Who was this? Why was he so strong? He was too unlucky. On the other side of the catacombs, countless demons were nervously waiting for news. The person who had gone out was an expert. Even if it was only a wisp of his soul, he had the strength of a fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert. Didn't the spiritual energy in the human world be scarce? and that even first-grade martial saints were rare? When did a fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm martial artist go over and not come back? The soul lamp is extinguished. He's dead. He's dead. His soul has dissipated. A terrified voice sounded. The originally chattering voices suddenly became silent. All the demons in the cavern looked at the flickering and unstable exit in horror. However, none of them dared to move. Not only did they not dare to move, but they were also retreating. To them, going to the human world was to live a better life and snatch more resources, not to die after experiencing all kinds of dangers. Run! These demons retreated in unison. Moreover, in the hearts of these demons, they regarded the entrance of Catacomb Number 1 as the most dangerous place. Although this place was the first to loosen up and a few companions went out first, the soul lamps of the companions had been extinguished, which meant that they were all dead. This place was a forbidden area for demons like them. No one was willing to try it unless they had no choice. In any case, this was not the only exit of the catacombs. It was too difficult to get out of the catacomb number one. Almost no one was alive. At least some of their companions could escape from the other catacombs. Furthermore, the ratio was not low. If there was a place where they could go to the human world alive, why would they fight to the death here? More and more demons had this thought. Therefore, Li Yuanqing opened the seal and waited for the demons below to come up. He had actually waited for a few days, but none of the demons were willing to come up. In the end, there was one who was not afraid of death. The strongest among these demons, a fifth-grade Grotto Heaven expert, was pushed out. After being sent up, the remaining demons waited there uniformly. If this expert could survive this time, they would also think of a way to rush over. After all, the temptation of the human world was still very great. However, the soul lamp of the fifth grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert went out not long after. This made the demons who were waiting for the news gasp in surprise. This was terrifying. All the demons were terrified. Catacomb number one was really too dangerous. All the experts who went out had died. How dangerous would it be up there? This was not an exit. This was a place to die. These demons were terrified and rushed elsewhere. In any case, 
They could not come to Catacomb No. 1 anymore. It was too dangerous. This was a place to die. Moreover, one could not leave the entrance of this catacomb at any time. There was also a specific time. There were only two or three times every year to rush out when it was loose. However, no one was willing to try such a suicidal opportunity. It was too terrifying. It was really too terrifying. This was not the only exit in the catacombs. They had heard that their companions had escaped from other exits. It was much safer than here. Li Yuanqing, who had been guarding the entrance of the catacomb for several days without encountering a single demon, finally sighed and quickly sealed the entrance. This place was dangerous. The demons down here were too powerful. Last time, a demon of similar strength to him had rushed up. He really couldn't be careless anymore. Who knew what kind of demon would rush out next time? The cautiously Yuanqing thought for a moment and placed all the hundred demon slayer swords that he had nurtured into the demon sealing sword formation. He checked the heavenly demon extinguishing array again and reinforced it before calling Qin Feng over. He wanted him to continue guarding the hole. I placed a hundred demon slayer swords. The catacomb here have already stabilized. I'll come again the next time the catacomb is loosen up. Yes, your highness. Qin Feng agreed respectfully, his eyes filled with admiration. Initially, Qin Feng was not sure how dangerous the catacomb was. However, after the appearance of the catacombs in the Yufu Kingdom and the Myriad City Kingdom, he realized that the catacomb in the Northern Kingdom had appeared much earlier than those places. However, the entrance to the catacomb did not look dangerous. It was just like an ordinary hole. If he hadn't known about the Wings clan in the past, he wouldn't have dared to think that this ordinary hole was the entrance to the catacomb. All of this was because of the former crown prince, who had an unparalleled aura like an immortal. If not for him, the northern kingdom, which did not have any foundation, would not have been able to resolve the problem of the catacomb. After all, the Yufu kingdom was backed by the Yufu mountain, but it did not completely block the invasion of the demons from the catacombs. Not to mention the northern kingdom who has a shallow foundation. Therefore, Qin Feng respected Li Yuanqing from the bottom of his heart. Without him, the situation in the northern kingdom would be turbulent at any time, and the people would be displaced. Such a person was worthy of the respect of the entire northern kingdom. Li Yuanqing left the holy land of the Wings clan and handed it over to Qin Feng to handle. Then, he returned to the wilderness valley. Cao would go to the martial arts academy in the wilderness every other day. From the initial panic of the martial arts academy students to the composed manner of dealing with the situation, there were even other exchange students from the martial arts academy who came to deal with Cao. Fortunately, Cao's strength was quite high. Even if those martial artists cooperated with the tripartite formation to deal with it, it was only a scratch to the thick skinned Cao. Even if the people from the martial arts academy tried their best, it would be difficult for them to injure Cao. It was strange. The students of the martial arts academy were growing rapidly, and so was Cao. Their ability to dodge counterattacks and actual combat was also getting stronger and stronger. This made the students of the martial arts academy fight harder and harder. Their fighting spirit was even aroused. At this moment, Wang Xian could also tell that this vicious beast had probably been domesticated by someone. Moreover, it did not have any ill intentions. Its arrival was a good thing for the martial arts academy. Wang Xian finally heaved a sigh of relief. After Li Yuanqing returned to the wilderness valley, he saw that Cao was busy. He took out the book of demon language and demon stone he had obtained this time. It turned out that the other side of the catacombs was the demon realm. The lowest level of the demon realm was the daily demons, followed by the ordinary demons, the dangerous demons, and the terrifying demons. Although they were the lowest level daily demons, they also corresponded to the strength of a martial saint from the first to a ninth grade grotto heaven realm. Therefore, the demons that rushed out of the catacombs would become more and more terrifying. The catacombs were very dangerous. Li Yuanqing felt a sense of danger. He had blocked the catacomb of the Northern Kingdom, but there would be more and more catacombs appearing since it had appeared in Yufu Kingdom and Myriad City Kingdom. The catacomb could be sealed once, but if the demons who came out aren't daily demons and were instead an ordinary demon, then they could probably overturn a country. It was very terrifying. He had to be careful. Thinking of this, 
Li Yuanqing decided to take a look at the little boss serpent he was controlling, who Jujio had not changed much. After turning back into her original form, she was a cute red fox. He had to let her recover as soon as possible. The other vicious beast he controlled was the little boss serpent. This fellow had already killed many opponents in the wilderness last time. He wondered how it was recently. He had planted the inner demon seed in the little Ba serpent. Before Li Yuanqing entered the wilderness, he already knew its location. At this moment, it was eyeing a flood dragon at the foot of Yang Mountain. This flood dragon's head had already begun to grow horns. Its entire body was white, and it was a relatively rare white flood dragon. Although this white flood dragon looked cool, it was trembling in front of the little Ba serpent. It had also entered the saint realm and was a first-stage Grotto Heaven realm expert, but it could only whine in the face of the black little boss serpent. Its body was covered in blood, and one of its tails had been broken. It was pressed under the little boss serpent. The white flood dragon kept begging the little boss serpent for mercy. It had already lost its tail. If the little boss serpent wanted to kill it, the only thing left was to devour its entire body. The white flood dragon was very afraid but it could not resist because the little boss serpent's combat strength was too strong. Just as the white flood dragon was waiting for death, the little boss serpent raised its head and looked at Li Yuanqing, who had entered the wilderness. Its master was here. It slapped the white flood dragon in disdain. Its master was here. It could not waste any more time to devour this white flood dragon. The white flood dragon was originally waiting for death and despair, but it did not expect that it still had a chance of survival. When the little boss serpent flew away, it turned its head to take a look. From afar, it saw Li Yuanqing sitting on the back of cow and walking towards the ferocious little boss serpent. The boss serpent shook its head and tail and nodded at him fawningly. This made the white flood dragon extremely shocked. How could such a ferocious boss serpent show such a respectful side? It looked like this person's pet. It was too terrifying. How terrifying was this person then? It was too terrifying. This wilderness was too terrifying. The white flood dragon was scared out of its wits by the little boss serpent. It looked at its bloody body and its tail. Gritting its teeth, it ignored everything and insisted on leaving the wilderness for the Yufu kingdom. At least this way, it could stay away from this terrifying boss serpent. It hoped that it would never see this boss serpent again in its life. It was too terrifying. The white flood dragon landed on the Yufu kingdom and was quickly discovered. When the emperor of the Yufu kingdom saw the white flood dragon, he was overjoyed. A white dragon that fell from the sky. Although this white dragon was missing a tail, it was still a white dragon. It was an auspicious sign. Such an auspicious sign meant that the Yufu kingdom would unify the world. Soon, the white flood dragon was treated as a holy object by the emperor of the Yufu kingdom. It enjoyed the nourishment of the Yufu kingdom and became the guardian beast of the Yufu kingdom. It became an auspicious sign that everyone respected. When the little boss serpent saw Li Yuanqing, it was extremely affectionate. It immediately lowered its huge head, wanting Li Yuanqing to stand on its head. Li Yuanqing did not reject the little boss serpent's intimacy. He simply stood behind him and let the little boss serpent bring him around the wilderness. Even though Li Yuanqing was standing on its back, the little boss serpent raised its proud head. The little boss serpent could be proud in the wilderness. It was the king here. None of the millions of vicious beasts here were its match. It originally thought that the white flood dragon would become its opponent, who knew that after it bit off its tail, it did not dare to counterattack. Instead, it took advantage of its master's arrival and fled. Sigh, an expert was lonely. The little boss serpent snorted coldly in its heart. It raised its head and brought its master to patrol the wilderness. It even stopped at many places. Those were the places where it had once fought and devoured its opponents. Those were the places where it had proven its strength. It had to let its master see how powerful it was. Slow down, steady, walk slowly. Because of the inner demon seed, Li Yuanqing could sense what the little boss serpent was thinking. It looked a little arrogant. Li Yuanqing knocked the little boss serpent's head with his hand, causing its proud head to shrink. The little boss serpent instantly became much more obedient. Only then did it carry Li Yuanqing to patrol the wilderness obediently. The wilderness was very large. 
There were forests, grasslands, rivers, and huge mountains. There were countless vicious beasts hiding inside. This was because the wilderness was too dangerous. It was very difficult for humans to gain a foothold here. The deeper they went into the wilderness, the more dangerous it was. Moreover, the terrain here was strange. There were many places where humans had never entered. Even though the little boss serpent had carried him for two to three days, he had only explored the tip of the iceberg of the wilderness. However, even though it was just the tip of the iceberg, the little boss serpent was still very impressive. This was because no matter where it carried Li Yuan Qing to, all the vicious beasts that saw it would lower their heads and prostrate themselves on the ground. Even the vicious beasts that were fighting to the death retreated when they saw the boss serpent. They lowered their heads and lay on the ground, trembling. The boss serpent's reputation terrified the vicious beasts that saw it. At the edge of the wilderness, Li Yuanqing even saw some people from the training team working together to kill some low-level vicious beasts. With the recovery of spiritual energy and the acceleration of human martial artist cultivation, many martial artists began to form teams to train in the wilderness. In particular, the Martial Arts Academy of the Northern Kingdom had already organized people to come to the wilderness border to train and fight regularly. This was because only in this way could the students of the Martial Arts Academy improve the fastest. This time, the hundreds of martial arts academies in the Northern Kingdom had mobilized thousands of elite students. They were divided into countless teams at the edge of the wilderness to deal with some low-level vicious beasts. The crowd cheered. A few students from the Wilderness Martial Arts Academy had used the tripartite formation to hit the back of a vicious beast and severely injure it. This encouraged many students, and they cheered. However, before their cheers could disappear, they saw another huge wolf run out and chase them away. It swallowed that vicious beast that they had been attacking for a long time in front of all the students. It was obvious that the giant wolf was not to be trifled with. It was about the same level as a first-grade Grotto Heaven Martial Saint. This alarmed the knowledgeable teachers and signaled the students to retreat because it would be dangerous. The students could still use a tag-team battle against some vicious beasts that were equivalent to an advanced or intermediate human martial artist. However, there was really no better way to deal with such a huge wolf other than retreating to protect themselves. There are many of us. Why don't we give it a try? Someone among the students of the wilderness shouted. Some of the other students were bold enough to be eager to give it a try. They even ignored the reprimand of their teachers, and 20 to 30 students rushed forward, wanting to surround and kill the huge wolf. The huge wolf's figure was like a ghost. It was so fast that the students could not see it all. Some people let out screams, and some people were filled with regret. They did not expect this huge wolf to be so difficult to deal with. So many people were simply unable to fight back against a vicious beast comparable to a first-stage Grotto Heaven martial saint. Quick, save him! A teacher shouted in shock because they saw a student being sent flying by the huge wolf's claws. Three students from the wilderness rushed forward with the tripartite formation to save the injured student. Three other teachers rushed up. They also used the tripartite formation and took the opportunity to attack the huge wolf. It caused the huge wolf to howl. Everyone in the martial arts academy, be it lecturers or students, knew how to form the tripartite formation. This formation was best at fighting the strong with the weak. The Wilderness Martial Arts Academy was really in the limelight during this wilderness training test. During the few critical moments, they were the ones who rushed up to kill the vicious beasts to save people. They were also the ones who called for the first joint training of the martial arts academies to increase the student's combat experience. The student who was snatched back was covered in blood. One of his arms had been bitten off by the huge wolf, and he had already fainted. Some quickly went forward to treat the student. The rest formed a team to chase the huge wolf away. After all, a huge wolf of this level was a formidable opponent to them. However, the howls of the other huge wolves suddenly sounded around them, each louder than the last. Oh no, they were surrounded by the huge wolves. Wolves were the most cunning vicious beasts. It turned out that the first wolf that appeared was just the vanguard. After its prey was snatched away, it had already howled and summoned its companions. Now, these students were the most delicious food in their eyes. Run. Those who can run, run, will hold them off and cover you. 
The few teachers from the Martial Arts Academy of the Wilderness were also anxious at this moment. They roared at the students behind them, even though there were more than a hundred Martial Arts Academy students. Their levels didn't look low, but all of them were like greenhouse flowers. They were useless and were a burden. At the critical moment, it was still the students of the wilderness who were stronger. At this moment, they had to hurry up and buy a minute or two for the people behind them. No one would be able to escape if they were surrounded by the wolves. At this moment, the students of the hundreds of martial arts academies were completely dumbfounded. Usually, the martial arts academy would only compete between the students. It would not involve life and death even if they were to compete in terms of cultivation level or fight in the arena. The students would also stop in before they seriously injured the other party. They did not know how to deal with this situation. These giant wolves did not care about stopping in time. They directly surrounded all the students in the middle. Blood could be seen dripping from their wide, open mouths. One could even see their sharp teeth shining with a cold light. It was over. They would all die in the wilderness this time and become food in the stomach of these huge wolves. A single huge wolf was already difficult to deal with, but no one could escape now that a group of them had come. Despair filled the hearts of all the students. Hurry up and run. Those who can escape, run. But you guys deserve it when you guys die. A swarthy youth in the crowd cursed. He turned around and ran. However, when he ran, he had two companions to set up the formation with him. These were the students of the Wilderness Martial Arts Academy. Only they were not flustered in front of the vicious beasts. The other students of the martial arts academies were worlds apart compared to them. However, as more than a hundred giant wolves appeared, as students began to die, and as students were torn apart by the giant wolves, many students who saw this tragic scene for the first time were completely dumbfounded. The wilderness was too dangerous. As the huge wolves reduced the size of the circle, more than a thousand students were covered in blood. Although some of them were tearing apart the encirclement and wanted to rush out, the huge wolves were exceptionally cunning. As long as a companion was stabbed, another huge wolf would immediately rush up. Its well-trained appearance was many times smarter than a human. It's over. The rising stars of the northern kingdom are all finished. A teacher from the wilderness cursed with a pale face. Why was he so unlucky? When did such a large group of huge wolves appear in the wilderness? Why did they have to bump into them? At this moment, even if the dean, the crown princess of the northern kingdom, and all the martial saints of the northern kingdom were here, they probably wouldn't be able to save all the students. The wealth that the northern kingdom had accumulated for countless years and thousands of elite students would probably be wiped out this time. Li Yuanqing had actually heard the howl of the huge wolf long ago. He had also seen the performance of the students from the Northern Kingdom. Very bad. These people were very bad. If it were before the recovery of spiritual energy, this large group of 6th, 7th, or even 8th grade martial artists would seem to be quite strong. However, their actual combat experience, cooperation, and courage were so bad that Li Yuanqing frowned. The country was strong when the young were strong. Xiaoyang spent a lot of effort to empty the seven great clans and set up more than a hundred martial arts academies so that the children of commoners could become martial artists. She wanted them to become the future of the Northern Kingdom. But these are their future? Li Yuanqing was not optimistic. Too weak, too trashy. How were these huge wolves strong? It almost destroyed their fighting spirit. They did not know that no matter how strong vicious beasts were, they were not stronger than humans. Humans are the most powerful beings in this world. Just as everyone was waiting for death and despair, they heard a cold snort in the air. Then, they saw a white-robed young man stepping on the back of the boss serpent with a cold expression. Countless demon slayer swords flew out from behind him. Hundreds of demon slayer swords instantly stabbed towards the hundreds of huge wolves. They did not take the lives of those huge wolves, but only blinded their right eyes. In just a few breaths, the huge wolves that had forced everyone into despair let out a series of screams. They rolled on the ground and wanted to escape with their tails between their legs. However, the boss serpent let out a hissing sound in the air. Even though the giant wolves were injured, they cowered on the ground and did not dare to move. The terrified students, 
who saw their companions being torn apart by the wolves, widened their eyes in disbelief. Li Yuanqing, who was standing on the Ba Serpent, looked about the same age as those students. He even looked younger than some of them. However, the other party had easily blinded the right eyes of all the huge wolves, causing them to not dare to move. It was like the most dazzling light in the night. That peerless appearance was deeply imprinted in everyone's hearts. So people could be so powerful? With a plop, a teacher from the wilderness knelt on the ground with an infatuated expression. He, as a martial artist, would die without regrets since he had seen this scene in his life. In this life, he would never forget that a person could be so powerful. There were also students who were scared out of their wits by the huge wolves. They looked up at Li Yuanqing, who was like a legitimate immortal, in a daze. The heroic spirit in their hearts was ignited. So people could be like this? God. This was the God in his heart. He had been saved by a God. Some students of the Wilderness Martial Arts Academy looked at Li Yuanqing with glowing eyes. They seemed to have found their goal in life at this moment. One's life was not in vain to be able to live such a life. It turned out that a true expert could be so powerful. It was unimaginable that there was such a powerful expert in the Northern Kingdom where controlling and suppressing these vicious beasts was as easy as playing around. Li Yuanqing casually swept his gaze across. He saw countless admiring and infatuated gazes, as well as countless people kneeling on the ground to worship him. He even heard people calling him a god? Those who offend my northern kingdom will be killed no matter how far away they are. Martial artists who are afraid of death are not worthy of entering the martial arts academy. After saying this, Li Yuanqing, who was standing on the back of the Ba Serpent, quickly disappeared. However, these words that were left in the wind aroused the fighting spirit of countless students. Moreover, this scene made the thousands of students feel as if they had a beacon in their hearts and had faith. Their bloodlust was aroused as they charged towards the one-eyed wolves. The huge wolves did not dare to move under the pressure of the Ba Serpent. They all tucked their tails between their legs and ran when the Ba Serpent was far away. They did not dare to fight with these students and fled. After the huge wolves left, the students counted the number of people. Dozens of people had died, more than a hundred were injured, and more than eight hundred people had combat strength. Kill. Martial artists who are afraid of death are not worthy of entering the martial arts academy. Wilderness, here we come. Li Yuanqing did not expect that his casual words were no less than the morning bell and evening drum for these thousands of students. It knocked into the depths of everyone's hearts. This time, other than the dozens of people who had died, the remaining people were divided into ten teams. Each team would bring some severely injured students to find medicine to heal their injuries. Then, they would fight fiercely with those vicious beasts every day in the wilderness. Although there were students who were injured and died every day, the remaining students had undergone a tremendous change. After that, the wilderness training test became a tradition and was kept by the Martial Arts Academy. Everyone's mentality changed. They had an idle target in their hearts because they saw the light in the night. Li Yuanqing, who had returned to the valley from the wilderness, quickly forgot about the students. He was busy signing in to cultivate. He cultivated the demon subduing palm, the shadowless art, the saint extermination stone, the sand escape technique, and even the clear sky sword. He felt that he had to cultivate these to pinnacle level before he could feel more at ease. In the blink of an eye, Another three years had passed. The Northern Kingdom had slowly prospered in the past three years, especially after the appearance of the catacombs in the Yufu Kingdom and many demons who escaped from the catacombs became bloodthirsty. Many citizens of the Yufu Kingdom fled to the Northern Kingdom. The wilderness, which was once remote and sparsely populated, had become a lively and prosperous place. Even the Wings Clan and the Li Clan had many commoners moved in and regained their vitality. Over the years, the spiritual energy in the air had become more and more abundant, and more and more martial artists could cultivate. Many ordinary people's lifespans had also become longer and longer. The northern kingdom finally became stronger and had the demeanor of a great country. At this moment, something that shocked the entire northern kingdom happened. During the spring celebration of the northern kingdom this year, the Yufu Kingdom sent an envoy to give Great Empress Xiaoyang ten night luminescent pearls 
and a marriage contract. The emperor of the Yufu kingdom was willing to betroth great empress Xiaoyang of the northern kingdom as his wife. The betrothal gifts were 180 carriages of gifts, and the betrothal gifts were delivered. When great empress Xiaoyang received the marriage contract and betrothal gifts, her expression was very ugly. Although the emperor of the Yufu kingdom, Li Zhengya, was also a first-stage martial saint, his strength was comparable to hers. He was an inner sect disciple of the Yufu mountain and also the direct descendant of the old ancestor. Although he was about 50 years old this year, he looked to be in his 20s or 30s due to his cultivation. He should have a lifespan of 3 to 500 years old according to the lifespan of a martial saint. 50 years old was not considered old, but the emperor of the Yufu kingdom had a first wife. Moreover, his first wife was a junior sister of his from the Yufu mountain. It was said that the two of them were childhood sweethearts. When the emperor of the Yufu kingdom, Li Zhengya, ascended the throne, his junior sister was conferred the title of empress. It had been 20 years. Moreover, it was said that the two of them had a very good relationship over the past 20 years. They had always been an immortal couple and were praised by others. Great Empress Xiaoyang would never have dreamed that the emperor of the Yufu kingdom, Li Zhengya, would hand over a marriage contract to the northern kingdom without any warning. Ha ha ha, what did he take her for? She was the great empress. She would not be a concubine, let alone a third party. He did not give her the marriage contract in advance according to the ancient ceremony. This was contempt for the northern kingdom. Hence, great empress Zhao Yang, who had received the marriage contract, threw it to the ground with a dark expression. How impudent! The emperor of the Yufu kingdom is too rash. If he wasn't married, I could still negotiate with him if their old ancestor had come to discuss the marriage. But they just send a marriage contract. What's the meaning of this? Is he bullying our northern kingdom for having no one? Over the years, under the rule of great empress Xiaoyang, the martial arts academy had become the pillar of the northern kingdom. There were many outstanding figures among the younger generation. Moreover, the northern kingdom had not experienced any chaos caused by the catacombs in the past few years. Although there were not many martial saints, the mysterious guardian of the northern kingdom was not to be underestimated. Originally, the Yufu kingdom was indeed stronger than the northern kingdom with the Yufu mountain behind it. However, the Yufu mountain suffered heavy losses after the Yufu kingdom encountered the catacombs. They did not block the exit of the catacombs, causing many demons to rush out. As a result, the Yufu kingdom was in turmoil. Over the years, many citizens of the Yufu kingdom had fled and come to the northern kingdom. And now, there aren't any differences in the strength of the two countries. Under such circumstances, the Yufu kingdom's act of directly handing over the marriage contract and betrothal gift was a provocation to great Empress Zhaoyang. A serious provocation. It was just like how great Empress Xiaoyang would have sent Li Zhengya a marriage contract without discussing with him beforehand and let him marry into the northern kingdom as the ruler of a country. This was contempt and humiliation. They dared to do this because they wanted the two countries to be in a war. When the ministers in the imperial court saw the Yufu kingdom's envoy rashly deliver the marriage contract, their faces were filled with anger. The generals even pressed their hands on their swords. This Yufu kingdom was simply going too far. Zhao Yang was their great empress. How could he humiliate her like this? Did the Yufu kingdom want to get married or start a war? Fortunately, great empress Zhao Yang's actions were satisfying. This made the ministers feel relieved. They gave the great empress a thumbs up in their hearts. Although great empress Zhao Yang was a woman, she was much stronger than the late emperor Li Huanjuan. Since the great empress had expressed her stance, the remaining ministers were not to be outdone. That's right. The Yufu kingdom has gone too far. Do they want to get married or start a war? How can anyone covet the great empress of our northern kingdom? Don't you know the three rituals? And he's the ruler of a country. Do you think there's no one in our northern kingdom? This was the first time that the great empress and ministers of the northern kingdom were of the same mind. They actually let the envoy of the Yufu kingdom leave the imperial city with the marriage contract and the betrothal gifts. The northern kingdom directly sent General Qin Feng to bring a group of people to escort the envoy of the Yufu kingdom. Although they said that they were escorting him, they were actually chasing him out of the border of the northern kingdom. 
This matter quickly spread throughout the northern kingdom. When the commoners heard it, they clapped and cheered. They only felt happy and proud. Who said that women were inferior to men? The great empress of their northern kingdom was even more heroic than a man. However, the emperor of the Yufu kingdom was stunned when he received this news. He did not expect the northern kingdom to be so bold. This was different from what he had originally thought. He remembered that Li Huanjuan had been very respectful to the Yufu kingdom back then. Many years ago, he had even tactfully expressed that as long as he was willing, he could choose any woman from the northern kingdom. That included the princess of the northern kingdom. He felt that he had done enough when he had taken out 180 carriages of betrothal gifts and even sent the marriage contract. This was because Zhao Yang was the great empress and her cultivation was not bad. That was why he thought highly of her and even specially sent an envoy over. Unexpectedly, he was humiliated by the northern kingdom. When Li Zhengye saw the envoy, he was so angry that he tore the marriage contract and said something on the spot. I gave you face by giving you the marriage contract today, but you don't want it. In the future, don't send yourself to me as a concubine. Such words were also deliberately promoted by the Yufu kingdom and quickly spread to the northern kingdom. For a moment, the atmosphere at the border between the Yufu kingdom and the northern kingdom became tense. As a result, in the past, the citizens of the two countries had close ties and there were no restrictions at all. However, after this incident, the borders were immediately heavily guarded. From the looks of it, a war could break out at any moment. Furthermore, the Yufu kingdom had begun to mobilize their troops, looking like they were preparing for war. After the news of the Yufu kingdom's actions reached the northern kingdom, many generals began to request to fight at the border with the Yufu kingdom. Of course, there were also experienced civil ministers who began to tactfully remind the great empress that everything could be discussed. If the Yufu kingdom really wanted to marry the daughter of the royal family of the northern kingdom, they could choose a daughter of the royal family to be conferred the title of princess. This is to prevent war and the commoners from suffering. There were many people who said such words, but Zhao Yang had her own thoughts. If I'm incompetent, I'll bear the consequences alone. The northern kingdom will battle to death and not make peace with other countries through marriage. We won't cause trouble, and we won't be afraid of trouble. How can I bear it if we sacrifice women to make peace? Great Empress Zhao Yang was not only the Great Empress, she was also a martial saint. Her cultivation was much higher than the previous emperor. Moreover, although she had been very busy all these years, she had never forgotten to cultivate and had never relaxed. Zhao Yang would not be willing if she had to sacrifice herself in the end to become a concubine. Li Yuanqing was drinking tea when he heard the news of the Yufu Kingdom's emperor's marriage proposal. When he heard this news, the cup of tea in his cup almost spilled. How dare the emperor of the Yufu kingdom? He actually dared to dream about making Zhao Yang his concubine? Haha, ha. was he really bullying the northern kingdom? Fortunately, Zhao Yang was gratifying. She finally had the demeanor of a great empress. Not everyone dared to covet his sister. The empress has done well. The Yufu kingdom has gone too far. Those who humiliate the empress are insulting our northern kingdom. The citizens of the Northern Kingdom are all talking about it. If there's really a war, we're all willing to go to the battlefield. The Northern Kingdom hasn't fought a war for 30 years. Wang Shun was filled with righteous indignation when he spoke about this. To them, no one liked to fight. Because fighting meant that people would die. However, living would be worse than death if they did not retaliate. Furthermore, their dignity was given to them by themselves. They would rather die standing than kneel. Moreover, in this situation, the northern kingdom might not necessarily die. Their chances of winning were very high. Li Yuanqing was a little surprised that ordinary people would have such thoughts. The northern kingdom was finally trying its best to stand up. Yes, I understand. Zhao Yang has finally grown up. Li Yuanqing smiled. Although Zhao Yang was already the empress, in Li Yuanqing's eyes, she was still the girl who was holding his sleeve. She had such pride after so many years. He was proud of his sister and finally sighed. She had become independent. Wang Shun looked at his highness and could not help but relax. He even smiled and refilled Li Yuanqing's cup of tea. Since his highness was not worried, he was relieved. The emperor of the Yufu kingdom, Li Zhengye, was in a bad mood. 
the senior brothers of the Yufu Mountain, who were resisting the catacombs in the country, had suffered heavy losses and were complaining. Many martial artists of the Yufu Mountain were refusing to guard the catacombs. Not only were there heavy casualties, but it was also very difficult to defend. They were often scolded and rarely praised. No one was willing to defend the catacombs to the death. Therefore, demons would break through the catacombs' exit from time to time. Any demon that came out was a Grotto Heaven Realm expert. They could do whatever they wanted in the Yufu Kingdom, causing the entire country to feel uneasy. Although Yufu Mountain would also send experts to hunt them down, as more and more demons appeared, Yufu Mountain suffered heavy casualties. In the end, as long as it was not a heinous demon, Yufu Mountain was unwilling to send their disciples to kill it. Even though Li Jingye had brought countless treasures and gifts to the Yufu Mountain, the sect master of the Yufu Mountain had tactfully told him that everyone on the Yufu Mountain focused on cultivation. The Yufu Kingdom should have come up with some rules for such a small matter. They were just short of letting them handle it themselves. This gave Li Jingye a headache. He could only get his generals to lead martial artists to surround and attack them. However, the generals and martial artists of the Yufu Kingdom would only die when facing those demons. No one was willing to throw their lives away. The people below began to pay lip service. As the commoners often suffered from demons and were constantly worried about their lives, many people began to move their families away from the Yufu Kingdom to the Northern Kingdom. Speaking of which, the Northern Kingdom was lucky. This country has always been inconspicuous. In the past, it was like a lackey in front of the Yufu Kingdom. They did not expect this to be a good place. It was not invaded by the demons of the catacombs. This made the Yufu Kingdom, which originally looked down on the Northern Kingdom, start to size up the territory of the Northern Kingdom. The more he looked, the more he felt that the territory of the Northern Kingdom was not bad. The South was bordered by the wilderness and the Yufu Kingdom. It was said that there had been very few beast tides in the wilderness in recent years, and the population there had also slowly increased. The East was next to the Endless Sea. Although it was far away, it could not withstand the vastness of the territory. Most importantly, there were no demons from the catacombs to harass them. The taxes paid by the commoners were also high. No matter how one looked at it, it was a good place especially the imperial city of the Northern Kingdom. It was an excellent place with good feng shui. It was said that there was a huge array protecting the outside of the imperial city. Back then, when the Ba Serpent disaster happened, the Ba Serpent could not enter the imperial city of the Northern Kingdom. Li Zhengye was tempted by such a good place. Therefore, he thought of the marriage alliance. No matter how powerful great Empress Xiaoyang was, she was still a woman. She wanted to marry someone and only he was worthy of Zhao Yang in this world. It would be enough to confer her a title of a concubine. After all, the Northern Kingdom's foundation was insufficient. It was Zhao Yang's fortune that he was willing to marry her. However, Li Zhengye's impression of the Northern Kingdom was still from 20 years ago. He felt that he had already given great Empress Zhao Yang a lot of face. They had always wanted to find a backer. It was a great fortune for them to rely on the Yufu Kingdom. If it weren't for the matter with the catacombs, Li Zhengye wouldn't even consider marrying Zhao Yang. He didn't like such a tough woman. He liked gentle and fawning women like his junior sister. As long as he liked a woman, his junior sister would try her best to get her. She would even settle that woman down and take care of her so that he could enjoy the happiness of having that woman. The Northern Kingdom is so impudent. It's time to teach them a lesson. Junior sister, prepare a heavy gift and bring a mid-grade wall-breaker pill that we obtained ten years ago to beg the sect master. Since the Northern Kingdom did not know how to appreciate favors, he would make them kneel. The most effective way was not to raise the army and go to war, but to ask the Yufu Mountain to send a Grotto Heaven Realm expert to directly suppress the imperial city of the Northern Kingdom. This would let Zhao Yang realize the difference between the Northern Kingdom and the Yufu Kingdom. He wanted her to lower her head in the end, and kneel down to beg him to be his concubine. Otherwise, the entire imperial city and the entire northern kingdom would pay the price for Zhao Yang's mistake. It did not take much effort to deal with the northern kingdom. A wall breaker pill and some gifts were enough. Li Zhengye's guess was right. When he presented the gift and the mid grade wall breaker pill, the sect master of the Yufu Mountain smiled. His words were even better. Martial nephew, 
the old ancestor is in seclusion. Although you are an emperor in the mortal world, you don't have to spend so much money. It's just the northern kingdom. They only have a few first-stage Grotto Heaven Realm experts. I can just send one of your martial uncles. His third-stage Grotto Heaven Realm strength is enough to make the entire northern kingdom submit. Although the northern kingdom also had martial saints, all of them, including Great Empress Xiaoyang, were first-stage Grotto Heaven Realm experts. It was not as easy to advance in the Grotto Heaven Realm as compared to a martial artist. Some people were stuck at the first-grade Grotto Heaven Realm and might not be able to advance to the second-grade Grotto Heaven Realm for 10 to 100 years. Third-grade Grotto Heaven Realm? Li Zhengye was overjoyed and kept thanking him. This mid-grade wallbreaker pill was indeed a good treasure. Even the sect master was tempted. Does the Northern Kingdom think that their country was strong because they have more commoners and soldiers? How dare they reject his marriage contract? The strongest part of a country was still the number of experts, and the strongest person was the one who could determine the foundation of a country. Even if there was a mysterious guardian in the Northern Kingdom, he would at most be at the second or third stage of the Grotto Heaven Realm. He would invite a second-grade Grotto Heaven Realm martial uncle to oversee the operation when he sent out his martial uncle. He would also send out two first-grade Grotto Heaven Realm experts from the royal family. With this lineup, the Northern Kingdom had no choice but to kneel. While the Yufu Kingdom began to attack, the Northern Kingdom was not idle either. The words of those civil ministers in the imperial court disgusted Zhao Yang as all of them advocated harmony. Let the daughter of the royal family be in a marriage alliance, and let the princess of the Li family make a marriage alliance. What was sacrificing a woman? If a country always relied on women to endure humiliation and marry, wouldn't the men in this country feel ashamed? However, many civil ministers felt that this was very normal. At least, there was a precedent in the previous emperor era, and the previous dynasty had also done this. The person who was shouting the most fiercely was the three dynasties' imperial counselor. His hair and beard were all white, and he was trembling as he persuaded the great empress to think twice before acting. There were 18 princesses who were in a marriage alliance in the previous dynasty. The daughter of the royal relative was conferred the title of princess. Among them, the eldest princess and five other princesses were married to the three generations of the emperor of the Myriad City Kingdom. This is a marriage that benefits the country and the people. When the previous emperor was still around, he had the intention to choose a princess from the royal family to marry the emperor of the Yufu Kingdom. I'm not the only one who knew about this. Moreover, there have been marriage alliances for the princesses since ancient times. This is a good opportunity for the two countries to be on good terms now that the Yufu Kingdom is offering 180 carriages of betrothal gifts. Your Majesty, you must not be impulsive. That emperor of Yufu Kingdom is from the Yufu Mountain. Their old ancestor has lived for hundreds of years. Moreover, the consecrators of the Yufu Mountain are all direct descendants of the Li family. The Emperor of Yufu Kingdom has a deep foundation. The Northern Kingdom must not fall out with the Yufu Kingdom. We need to recuperate, the Imperial Counselor said earnestly. When he was anxious, he even knelt on the ground and begged Great Empress Zhao Yang not to be rash. There were many ministers kneeling, and there were more than ten of them. This made Zhao Yang very unhappy. It was a humiliation of the previous dynasty to rely on the marriage alliance with the Emperor of the Myriad City Kingdom. That's why the previous dynasty was not popular with the people and was overthrown by the founding ancestor of the country. There's no need to talk about the matters of the previous dynasty here. The Northern Kingdom is not going to any marriage alliances. I, the Great Empress, am guarding the country. Let me die in battle first. Zhao Yang was a woman. Only a woman would understand the meaning of princess going for a marriage alliance. When the country was strong, it was an honor for a princess to marry a man of lower status. When the country was weak, it was a humiliation for a princess to go for a marriage alliance. A country did not exchange princesses and relatives for peace. A country relied on its own strength. Only this cowardly scholar would think that this was the best solution. Why not make yourself stronger instead of sacrificing women? Your Majesty, please calm down. If you don't agree, I will kill myself in the throne room for the sake of the people. When the imperial counselor, who was a three-generation senior, 
had been reprimanded by Zhao Yang in front of the civil and military officials, he was filled with grief and indignation. He shouted that he wanted to kill himself in the throne room. At least to the civil ministers, this way of death would be remembered for generations to come. Do you really want to die? Then go to the border and guard the territory. In the future, if anyone dares to bring up a marriage alliance and beg for mercy, send them to the border. Dismissed. Zhao Yang snorted coldly. These old ministers took advantage of their seniority and wanted to kill themselves in the throne room. Could it be that they had forgotten that she was already a martial saint? She was the absolute king here. Everyone's life and death was in her hands. Who didn't know how to act? Although the ministers had withdrawn from the court, Zhao Yang had found a few martial saints from the northern kingdom. Qin Feng was guarding the border and could not return. Ever since her uncle was injured last time, his injuries had not recovered. Fortunately, there were two sword formations in the catacomb. They did not need experts to guard them until the catacomb was loose. Wang Xian had also advanced to Martial Saint and become a first-stage Grotto Heaven Realm expert. In addition, a Martial Saint had appeared in the Meritorious family and was summoned by Zhao Yang. At this moment, there were only three Martial Saints in the Northern Kingdom's Imperial City, including Empress Zhao Yang. Moreover, they were all first-stage Grotto Heaven Realm experts. It was not enough. However, Zhao Yang had her own plans. They could form the tripartite formation with three people. The three first-grade Grotto Heaven Realm experts could crush a second-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert after using the formation. Moreover, Zhao Yang still had a trump card, which was Li Yuanqing. Although she did not know her brother's strength, Zhao Yang could vaguely guess that Li Yuanqing should be at the fourth-grade Grotto Heaven Realm. The Northern Kingdom was actually not weak with this strength, not to mention the few vicious beasts controlled by his brother. Under such circumstances, there was no need to bow down to anyone. Wang Xian, gather all the reliable ninth grade martial artists in the Northern Kingdom and teach them the tripartite formation. We don't have many martial saints, but there are many ninth grade martial artists in the Martial Arts Academy. They will be very useful. According to the tripartite formation, Three ninth grade martial artists could deal with a first grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert. The Northern Kingdom had developed very quickly in recent years. There were several martial saints and dozens of ninth grade martial artists who had joined the royal family. These people were all useful. If they couldn't be used, they would form a small tripartite formation. And when the three small tripartite formation were combined, nine ninth grade martial artists could even trap a second-grade Grotto Heaven Realm martial artist. This was the most powerful aspect of the tripartite formations. If there were nine first-grade martial saints with the strength of a Grotto Heaven Realm expert, they would be able to trap a third-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert with three small tripartite formations. After arranging for these experts in the country, Great Empress Xiaoyang planned to personally make a trip to the Wilderness Valley. Her brother was there. It was also the true source of the Northern Kingdom's confidence. When Zhao Yang went to the wilderness, she did not see Li Yuanqing because he was in seclusion for a few days. However, Zhao Yang saw the fiery red fox. A fiery red furry fox was eating fruits with relish on the white table under the lush pine trees. Everything seemed so natural and harmonious. There was no tension or pressure here. Zhao Yang heaved a long sigh of relief. The unhappiness and anxiety in her heart these days had been swept away when she came to the valley. Even if she didn't see her brother, being able to rest here for a day or two could calm her heart. If her big brother didn't panic, there was even less to worry about. Then, the deputy general of the wilderness encampment, Zhang Quan, respectfully brought over food. Wang Shun was also summoned by Zhao Yang. His highness knew about the Yufu kingdom. He was in a good mood and said that your majesty had done the right thing. After that, his highness went into seclusion. It has been a few days. Wang Shun stole a glance at Great Empress Xiaoyang. When the Great Empress was still a princess, she often came to see his highness. All these years, the only person his highness cared about was her. She did not have any prestige when she came here even though she's the Great Empress. She was still like the princess of the past. Okay, you can leave. Serve my brother well. This is your blessing. Zhao Yang said to Wang Shun enviously. This person was really lucky to have caught her brother's eye. Although she was the great empress, she was still envious of him. 
Zhao Yang did not sit here for long before she saw a vicious beast that surprised her. A huge Ling who appeared in Zhao Yang's line of sight. Zhao Yang had once heard Wang Xian mention that there was often a vicious beast in the martial arts academy that would accompany those students for training. Could it be this one? There was also that fiery red little fox. Zhao Yang had seen its true form before. It was beautiful and very cute when it revealed its true form. It made people want to touch its fur. Zhao Yang was trying to communicate with the little fox. However, Hu Juju looked at her as if she didn't want to bother with her. Although the little fox knew Zhao Yang and had accompanied her for many years, Hu Juju pretended not to know her since Li Yuanqing was not around. Anyway, she was a fox and no one would reprimand her if she ignored Zhao Yang. Zhao Yang stayed in the wilderness valley for two days. On the third day, when she was about to leave, Li Yuanqing finally came out of seclusion. This time, Li Yuanqing seemed to be even younger after coming out of seclusion. He looked even younger standing beside Zhao Yang. This made Zhao Yang's eyes widen with envy. Even though she was already a martial saint at the Grotto Heaven Realm, and time passed very slowly on her, there were still many matters in the Northern Kingdom, so she was still extremely tired. There was no way for her to cultivate wholeheartedly like her brother. Big brother, congratulations on coming out of seclusion. This time, Li Yuanqing felt good. Zhao Yang felt that her brother had definitely advanced again. However, Zhao Yang would never have thought that Li Yuanqing was already at the 6th grade Grotto Heaven Realm. Yes, is it because of the Yufu Kingdom? Don't worry, I know about it, and support your decision. I will appear at the critical moment. Li Yuanqing's words were like a calming pill that made Great Empress Zhao Yang nod heavily. A huge weight was lifted from her heart. She was not worried that her brother would not help her. She was just worried that he would blame her for being too unyielding. Unexpectedly, the two of them had the same thought about the Yufu Kingdom's attitude. Li Yuanqing looked very calm as he watched Great Empress Zhao Yang leave. He calculated the time and went to the catacomb. The hundred demon slayer swords were steadily there at the entrance of the catacomb. Li Yuanqing tried to undo the seal on the entrance of the catacomb. He waited at the entrance of the catacomb for two days, but not a single demon appeared. Helpless and disappointed, he could only seal the catacomb again. There was still a trace of disappointment in his heart. Why wasn't there a single demon? When did these demons become so timid? So much so that he didn't even have a chance to sign in at the entrance of the catacomb? How disappointing. Li Yuanqing did not know that the people of Yufu Mountain would vomit blood from anger if they heard his thoughts. This was because a third-grade Grotto Heaven expert had been sent to the Northern Kingdom from the Yufu Mountain, causing the strength of the guard of the catacomb to decrease again. As a result, some demons broke out of the encirclement of the Yufu Mountain and caused a mess in the Yufu Mountain. However, they could not think of a better solution. The Demon Rebellion was about to shake the foundation of the Yufu Kingdom. At this moment, the Emperor of the Yufu Kingdom was still thinking of dealing with the Northern Kingdom. He was thinking of moving the palace of the Yufu Kingdom to the Northern Kingdom after he married the Great Empress of the Northern Kingdom. This way, there would not be any demons causing trouble in the Northern Kingdom, nor would there be any catacombs. They would not be troubled by the catacombs. The Emperor of the Yufu Kingdom smiled very happily when he saw the third grade Grotto Heaven Realm Marshal Uncle Wong sent by the sect master of the Yufu Mountain. In order to rope in this Marshal Uncle Wong, he even specially gave him a marrow cleansing pill. Moreover, he promised that on the day of his marriage with the great empress of the Northern Kingdom, he would let this Marshal Uncle Wong choose three treasures from the treasury of the Northern Kingdom. Other than Marshal Uncle Wong, Li Jingya also sent three martial saints, in which two were first-stage Grotto Heaven Realm experts, and one was second-stage Grotto Heaven Realm expert to follow Marshal Uncle Wong. They would go to the imperial city of the Northern Kingdom together and threaten Great Empress Xiaoyang. This time, he couldn't even be bothered to give her the marriage contract. He directly made Xiaoyang his concubine and made the Northern Kingdom a vassal of the Yufu Kingdom. Otherwise, he would wipe out the Li clan of the Northern Kingdom. On this day, the bright moon was high in the sky, but it was quickly covered by dark clouds. At this moment, everyone in the imperial city felt their hearts palpitate as they heard a thunderclap. Zhao Yang of the Northern Kingdom, come and see the High Ambassador of Yufu Mountain. These few words made the expressions of all the commoners in the imperial city change drastically. 
The imperial city of the Northern Kingdom was huge and had a population of 50 million. However, everyone could hear the voice of the person from the Yufu Mountain. Just this show of strength was enough to make people speechless. Zhao Yang, who was in the palace, also heard this voice. Her face darkened, and in the next moment, she appeared on the tallest building in the imperial city, Full Moon Tower. On the Full Moon Tower, she cupped her hands in the air in a neither servile nor overbearing manner. Welcome, envoy of the Yufu Mountain. Please do not disturb the citizens of the imperial city. Great Empress Zhao Yang's voice was neither slow nor anxious, even though she did not suppress that terrifying voice. However, the citizens who were feeling a little fearful also heard this voice. Everyone heaved a sigh of relief. Although the Great Empress was not a man, her courage was extraordinary. No matter what it was, it was admirable that she dared to stand up first. Ha ha ha, Zhao Yang, why did you chase the envoy away and tore my marriage contract? You have to know that our marriage was decided when your father was still alive. Aren't you a disloyal, unfilial, and untrustworthy person if you dare to go against it? How can you be a ruler? A white flood dragon suddenly appeared in the air near the imperial city. Although this flood dragon was majestic, if one looked carefully, it was missing a tail. Li Zhengye stood proudly on the flood dragon. Behind him were a few experts from the Yufu kingdom. One of them was Marshal Uncle Wang, who was dressed in white and had white hair and a white beard. Even though he did not speak, Zhao Yang noticed him immediately. At the same time, when the people from the Yufu kingdom entered the northern kingdom to speak, Wang Xian and the others from the imperial city appeared behind Zhao Yang. That was not all. All the ninth grade martial artists of the Martial Arts Academy and the Imperial Court had gathered and were guarding under the full moon tower. So it's the emperor of the Yufu kingdom who came from afar? When my father died, he didn't mention my marriage. How is it settled? You and I are both rulers of a country. There's no difference in status. The matters of my northern kingdom are not up to your Yufu kingdom to decide. Zhao Yang was also smart. After seeing Li Zhengye from the Yufu kingdom, she directly pointed out his identity as the emperor. Since he was the emperor, the Yufu kingdom and the northern kingdom were on equal footing. At the very least, other countries could not interfere with other countries' affairs. Although Zhao Yang knew that the Yufu kingdom was backed by the Yufu mountain and that the emperor was a disciple of the Yufu mountain, she had to talk about national affairs first. This way, she would be in an invincible position first. The emperor of the Yufu kingdom would not be in the right on the surface if he wanted to suppress her. However, Zhao Yang knew very well that only when both sides were equal would they be reasonable. And Li Zhengye was clearly trying to use the strength of the Yufu mountain to suppress her. Ha ha ha, women are full of mouths. I'm not as sharp-tongued as you. Since I've taken a liking to you, I'll marry you. Giving you the marriage contract is a form of respect. Since you don't want the marriage contract, I'll bring you back to the Yufu kingdom today and confer you an imperial title of Zhaorong. It can be considered as not disappointing your dead father. I want to see who dares to stop me from taking you away today. Li Jingye had no intention of being reasonable. He was not here to get married. He was here to snatch the peace of the northern kingdom. If not for the fact that he had not figured out the strength of the mysterious guardian in the northern kingdom, he would have snatched them long ago since the Northern Kingdom did not even have a second-grade Grotto Heaven Realm expert. Zhao Yang's face darkened. Li Zhengye of the Yufu Kingdom was really shameless. As the ruler of a country, his actions were so ridiculous and despicable. Anyone could bully the Northern Kingdom in the future if she did not destroy his prestige today. Li Zhengye, since you're so shameless, let's spar first and see if you have the ability. Zhao Yang held a long sword and pointed it at the sky. She cultivated the Black Phoenix Spirit technique. Although she was only at the first grade Grotto Heaven Realm, her cultivation technique was very powerful. There were almost no opponents of the same level. Whether it was Qin Feng or Wang Xian, they were not her match. She could even fight two against one, and even fight to a draw. Li Zhengye was also a first stage Grotto Heaven Realm cultivator, and was on par with her. She wanted to take him down a notch and capture Li Zhengye. Everything would be resolved then. Ha ha, that's what I was thinking. Li Zhengye looked down at Zhao Yang. The great empress was dressed in bright yellow and looked extraordinary in her dragon robe. Zhao Yang was relatively tall, 
about 1.72 meters. Her bright appearance coupled with her empress clothes make her into dazzling beauty. Li Zhongye was tempted. He felt that it would be a pity not to defeat such an unruly beauty with his own hands. Therefore, the two of them did not say much and started fighting on the roof of the full moon tower. The bright moon was high in the sky, and the full moon tower was the highest position on the city wall of the entire imperial city. The rulers of the Yufu kingdom and the northern kingdom personally took the stage. This was a scene that only happened once in a thousand years. The citizens of the northern kingdom forgot about the danger for a moment and tried their best to see this battle between martial saints. Under their feet were the imperial city. If martial saints were angry, a single move from them would probably be able to split the city wall and break the moat. There would be countless casualties if ordinary people were watching, and these were the citizens of the Northern Kingdom. Therefore, when Zhao Yang saw Li Zhengye's sword stabbing at her, she turned around and leaped out of the imperial city. She headed towards the wilderness where there were fewer people. Zhao Yang had already taken half a step forward when Li Zhengye's sword missed. It didn't stab Zhao Yang but it split open the roof of Full Moon Tower. There was a continuous crashing sound. Countless glazed tiles and bricks on the Full Moon Tower had fallen. A perfectly fine Full Moon Tower had been destroyed by Li Zhengye's sword. Li Zhengye saw Zhao Yang running away and immediately chased after her. The two of them had advanced to the same level. Zhao Yang had taken half a step earlier, but he could not catch up at all. When he summoned the White Dragon, Zhao Yang had disappeared. Chase after her. If you catch up to her, tie her up and take her away. Li Zhengye was a little exasperated at this moment. He wanted to consummate their marriage immediately after capturing Zhao Yang and then move into the palace of the Northern Kingdom. A country would be easily taken down like that. He would just move the capital later on. Marshal Uncle Wang, who was standing on the back of the White Dragon, suddenly opened his eyes and pointed in the direction of the wilderness. She went over there. We should be able to catch up soon with the white dragon. This white dragon was the treasure Li Zhengye was most proud of. However, when he rushed towards the wilderness, the white dragon dawdled and refused to speed up. That speed was even slower than Li Zhengye himself. Li Zhengye was so anxious that he kept promising the white dragon that it could choose any treasure from the northern kingdom. It could even use the resources of two countries to help it increase its realm. Perhaps it was because of the benefits Li Zhengye had promised, but the white dragon was finally a little faster. They could even see Empress Xiaoyang enter the wilderness. Let's go into the wilderness. White Flood Dragon, that's your hometown. Li Zhengye's face lit up. This white dragon came from the depths of the wilderness. Their group was strong, and Great Empress Xiaoyang was alone. He he he, this time, they had the right time, place, and people. The northern kingdom was already his. Lizania Lauga Ruganli. Wang Xian, who was chasing after the white dragon from afar, panicked. Great Empress Xiaoyang was too fast. They could not keep up. Moreover, there were four or five experts and a white flood dragon from the Yufu kingdom. Such a powerful lineup chasing after Great Empress Xiaoyang made Wang Xian's body turn cold. He even blamed himself a little. He should have persuaded Great Empress Xiaoyang. The Yufu Mountain was still too strong. They could not resist it at all. In the face of absolute strength, justice seemed pale. The martial artists who followed Wang Xian were all pale. Even though they had hatred in their hearts and wanted to repay their country with their lives, the difference in strength was too great. The best solution now was to find the Great Empress immediately. Everyone used the tripartite formation and used their determination to kill the martial saint of the Yufu Kingdom. Let the world understand that although the northern kingdom was weak, it could be killed but not humiliated. The white dragon caused a huge commotion in Madeir, so much so that the martial artists wherever it passed were alarmed. Almost all the hidden advanced martial artists in the northern kingdom moved when they heard the news. The women of the northern kingdom were respected. Although it made many people uncomfortable, after Zhao Yang ascended the throne, she was a good ruler. For the sake of the Northern Kingdom and the Great Empress, almost half of the Northern Kingdom's martial artists rushed to the wilderness, hoping to resist the suppression of the Yufu Kingdom. Haha, <laughs> Marshal Uncle, this Northern Kingdom is really funny. So many 7th grade and 8th grade martial artists are here to join in the fun. Do these people want to die? Li Zhengye sneered disdainfully, but he was secretly shocked. 
Why were there so many intermediate and advanced martial artists in the Northern Kingdom? And it was not a small number either. There were even more intermediate and advanced martial artists than in the Yufu Kingdom. A country without a catacomb's exit was indeed a paradise for martial artists. The Yufu Kingdom had an exit to the catacombs, causing the losses of intermediate and advanced martial artists to be disastrous. They overestimate themselves. Martial Uncle Wong looked down from above and said coldly, He was here today to deal with the Guardian of the Northern Kingdom. If that Guardian did not dare to show his face, he would not have to make a move to avoid losing his status. Of course, he had also taken a few looks at the martial saints that had appeared in the Northern Kingdom. They were all first-stage Grotto Heaven Realm experts. There were not many of them, only three to five. There was no need for him to take action. Just the few people that his martial nephew had brought were enough to make the Northern Kingdom perish.